Hidden cause number eight, why you still have low thyroid symptoms, is kind of a cheat. Because uh, you probably heard me talk about Hashimoto's uh, thyroiditis before, and this hidden cause number eight is related to that. Hidden cause number eight is anti-thyroglobulin antibodies. Or you've got Hashimoto's and it's attacking your thyroglobulin inside your thyroid gland. Now, why is that a hidden cause? Well, it really shouldn't be hidden because Hashimoto's is the most common cause of hypothyroidism, bar none. It's not iodine deficiency, it's not tyrosine deficiency, it's not anything else other than Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune condition. Genes have been turned on that are causing your immune system to target and attack your th the inside of your thyroid gland. So let me tell you what thyroglobulin antibodies are. Thyroglobulin excuse me, just thyroglobulin. Thyroglobulin is inside your thyroid gland, and it's what you use to make your thyroid hormones. If you're attacking that, then your ability to make thyroid hormones over time is going to decrease, and you're going to start having low thyroid symptoms, such as fatigue, depression, inability to lose weight, or gaining weight on a low-calorie diet, or even though you exercise like a madman or madwoman, um, uh, dry hair, dry skin, infertility, high cholesterol, you'll start to develop those symptoms at some point if you're attacking your thyroid globulin because you just can't make thyroid hormones. And what will happen is your TSH may go up and your doctor may identify the TSH and may diagnose you as hypothyroid and will probably start you on Synthroid or Levox or something like that. The problem is if you've got Hashimoto's and you've got the thyroid globulin antibodies but the doctor doesn't test for them then you're probably not going to feel all that great over time. This is a hidden cause because most doctors just don't look for it. Why don't they look for it? Because, frankly, they wouldn't treat you any differently if they found out you had it. And this is the difference between the you know, kind of standard medical endocrinological approach to this and a more functional approach to this. A functional approach says, look, you've got an autoimmune condition. Let's do something to try to get your immune system calmed down. Let's remove triggers. Let's do things to make you feel better that are related to the autoimmune problem. The more standard in-the-box medical approach says, doesn't matter, we're just going to give you thyroid hormones and hope you feel better. That doesn't mean they're trying to make you feel bad, it's just that's what their training is. They don't know necessarily that there's other things you can do for it. Okay, So that's why it's a hidden cause. So what should you be doing about that? Well, if you've got hypothyroidism, if you've been diagnosed, I don't care how long you've been diagnosed, and you've never had a thyroglobulin antibody test or a TPO antibody test, you need to get those done. Because if you've got Hashimoto's, you've you got to jump into action right now. Because if you've got Hashimoto's, okay, or if maybe you already have an autoimmune condition, you've got to understand that once you've got one autoimmune condition, it's real easy to get another one. So that you're, it's expanding. You're attacking more tissues, causing more problems, causing more symptoms. Okay. The other important thing you have to understand about thyroglobulin antibodies is this. If you look for one of my recent videos, a really cool study came out that showed that Women that have only, only thyroglobulin antibodies show up positive. There's a strong association between that and mercury. Now, you need to go watch that video and hear the other things I have to say about it. So hidden cause number eight is hidden because most doctors don't look for it. Now, it's not hidden to you anymore because now you know it's something that could be causing all these low thyroid symptoms that you still have, even though you may be taking medication, even though your other lab tests look normal. That... <laughs> I was going to say I was going to say something kind of mean, but doctors typically don't run a full thyroid panel because in their mind they don't need to because they really only have one tool to offer you, which is the replacement hormones. But if you have an autoimmune condition, the replacement hormones are only going to do about that much. You can go through what's called a hormone honeymoon where you kind of feel good, but then over time your dosage has got to go up or you still feel bad even though your dosage is changing. Um... I just wish doctors would check for these things, and I wish more doctors knew that there is something you can do for it besides giving them thyroid hormones. There's dietary changes. There's things you have to look for in the GI tract. There's specific vitamin deficiencies. There's even brain mechanisms that are at play. So what you got to do is be an advocate for yourself. Know that you've got the information now, and go find someone to get you tested, and find someone who will know what to do if you show up positive. Okay, That's the second half of the battle, finding someone that knows what to do.